Hi guys, Jason here from Robert Law Miles Australia again. Uh, today we're going to do a really, really quick video just on joining your perimeter wire if you need to join it for one reason, whether you've, whether you've got more than 100 metres on a roll uh, and need to join it, or whether it's been damaged by the mower or by something else that needs to be repaired. Um, so I've just laid out a single piece of wire here today to, to represent our perimeter wire, and we're going to show you the connectors that come in the actual packet. Um, as well as also the uh, little heat shrink joiners that we sell ourselves here which is what we prefer to join the wire with um, just because it seals the wire better than the, uh, the joiners that come in the box but we'll start off with, uh, with one of the uh, joiners that comes in the box which is a simple little crimp joiner uh, you feed the wire through in two locations and you crimp it down so we'll just pick a spot here and we'll say that there's our damaged point of cable. Now there's no need to strip the cable back for these for this type of joiner. We put the joiner in one hole in here until it stops. There's actually a little there's a little stopper in there. And the other one, we actually push through all the way through until it sticks that other side. Just hold that in position. Like such. We use a general normal pair of pliers. I'll just show that in the camera. You go across the entire joint and you push this little metal plate into the wires. So I'll set that up again. Such, like such. And we just simply put it on there and squash. Close the uh, this little cover over the top. And that's it. That's joined. For our little heat shrink joiners that we that we sell, uh, very similar. The difference with the heat shrink joiners is that we do need to remove some of the insulation on the cable, just about sort of approximately, well, let's say, maybe ten millimeters, like such. Do that on both ends. Such. Twist the wires and fold it over about halfway so it's only about five millimeters. Do the same thing for the other side. Fold it over so you end up with something that looks a little bit like this. So we push those into the into the joiner. You, you'll see just halfway down the joiner there, it turns to metal. We've got to get the copper all the way down to about that location there. So we push that in there, and push that down to that. Get the other side and do the same thing. Okay, so we end up like that. And then to crimp these down, you can use a standard pair of crimpers for insulated, insulated wire joiners like these. Um, and they've got the red, blue and yellow little dot on there which represents what, what uh, area to use. Um, so in this case they're red, we use the red dot. Um, or alternatively, if you've got a pair of pliers that actually has a little crimping section in the back here, where you can see it little crimps down there, you can use that as well, so either either. Um, you can use those or you can use the proper crimpers for the job. So we just lay that in the middle here and crimp nice and hard. I'm going to crimp that twice. We'll do one to the left a little bit and one to the right a little bit. Like such. And that's joined up there like that nicely. And then, being a heat shrink joiner, we use just a little heat gun, even a lighter. Anything will do the job basically. We we'll use these little blow torches. And we just be careful not to leave the heat directly onto the joiner too much because it will catch fire with a little heat torch like this. Just keep turning that as we go. Okay. Stuff. And we've ended up with a nice little join that's completely sealed with heat shrink and it's got resin fill inside those heat shrinks, inside the heat shrink joiner. Um, and that will not corrode at all. 
which is fine. But either, either joint is fine, but if you are in a, an area with highly corrosive soil, um, we do definitely recommend using the heat shrink, heat shrink joiners. Um, if your soil is not that corrosive, then the normal joiners are fine. And after you've done your repair, we simply just either peg that down very tight to the bottom of the to the to the ground under your grass, or possibly just dig it down just a little bit, even with your fingers, just to get it, just to get that joiner under the ground a little bit to make sure that the mower doesn't damage it when it passes over. And that's it.